entertaining movie events in the Valley for the family next week. And film critic Josh Bell is here to give us a rundown. We're going into October, so I'm expecting some spookier movies. There you know? is definitely spooky stuff mm -hmm. coming up. We got a balance this week, but on the whole, October is going to be full of Halloween related film it. events. Um, and I'll start with one of those, the Retro Nightmares series, which I talked mm -hmm. about last week, and that's continuing at a couple local theaters at Red Rock and Sunset Station. Yeah. They're showing a double feature on uh, the 4th of October with a couple of the Amityville movies. Uh, those are so scary. <laughs> I, they, you know, I think yeah. they are scary and also cheesy, and these are some of the later ones in the series, <laughs> so you might laugh a little. We've got Amityville, The Evil Escapes, and Amityville, mm -hmm. It's About Time uh, from 1992. So a couple of cheesy, fun yeah. horror movies, and that's two movies for the price of one on the 4th at 7 p.m. at a couple local theaters. That's so nice. But obviously, if you're not into the super scary horror stuff, there's some stuff for the family. Yeah, there's other stuff going mm -hmm. on uh, for the family as well. Um, if you are into indie films, we've got a film festival coming up in Laughlin, actually, uh, oh, starting yeah. on uh, the 4th, uh, going the 4th through the 7th the Laughlin International Film Festival, and this is the seventh year of that. Uh, it's only less than two hours outside of Vegas. It's kind of a cool thing nice to get out of to town. Yeah, get away. Yeah, you mm -hmm. go to the theater there at the Outlet Center. You can catch uh, independent features and short films and documentaries. They've got panel discussions and workshops. And uh, I'm actually going this year for the first time. I'm looking oh, really? forward to checking it out. Mm -hmm. um, and it's great that they've got that event that's been going for years now in yeah. Laughlin. But a little closer to home, obviously, if you don't want to make the two hour drive. No, of course. Um, but still want to be outside, right. Henderson. Yeah, and mm -hmm. we're talking about a uh, Halloween movie maybe for the family. We've got Hocus Pocus, which is certainly a family favorite. It's a classic, right? It, yeah. Yeah, I, I will say personally I'm not a huge, huge fan, but I think a lot of people who grew up with this movie as kids, with Bette Midler in it and Sarah Jessica Parker, Kathy and Jimmy as the witch trio. Yeah. It's a fun, silly Disney movie, and that's showing at the Henderson Pavilion on October 5th mm -hmm. uh, at 7 p.m. for free. It's a definitely a family-friendly event. They'll have face painting and games and food trucks, so you bring your kids. They're also showing it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, oh, uh, the TV special, so mm -hmm. you can see that before Hocus Pocus and yeah. bring the whole family to that. Yeah, it's yeah, a lot of fun out there. I love all the events that are happening because we have a wider range because over at the Philharmonic, they're doing something I think is personally very cool with yeah. the movie Psycho. I think yeah. everyone loves well, maybe not everyone yeah, loves the movie Psycho. It's a scary I, movie, yeah. <laughs> um, but Psycho is a classic. It is. And uh, the Philharmonic is going to be, be performing live along with Psycho. So they're going to be playing that iconic score by Bernard Herrmann. Everyone, you can hear it in your head right now, I think, if you're yeah. imagining the shower scene. Yeah. And they'll be doing a full or orchestral concert alongside the movie. Um, and if you're really into Psycho, you can show up beforehand for their Psycho Ball. Uh, they're encouraging costumes. And uh, UNLV music professor uh, Jonathan Rhodes Lee will be talking about the music uh, before the concert. So that's a full experience with the Philharmonic on October 6th at the Smith Center. That is really cool. And we have one last one for you. Just a classic movie, right? Yeah, a classic back in theaters. We get a lot of these, and it's always cool to see that. And this one is Bullet, starring Steve McQueen, with one of the greatest car chases of all time, uh, a, an iconic uh, kind of cop thriller starring Steve McQueen as a San Francisco detective. Um, that's on the 7th and, 9th in, uh, 7th and 9th of October at 2 and 7 p.m. in a bunch of local theaters all around town. So if you've never seen that on a big screen, this is a good chance to good, check that yeah, out. To, to catch yeah. a classic movie. So a mix of things, some scary things, yeah. some not so scary things. I'm really into, though, the Philharmonic doing the score of Psycho. Yeah. Maybe that makes me a little creepy and no, twisted. No, it's, a, it's an exciting it's, thing that they're yeah, doing. Yeah, it yes. really is. Thank yeah. you so much for coming.